Hi, I'm Gareth Green and welcome to another in our Name the Composer series of quizzes. So it's a bit of light-hearted fun which I hope you'll enjoy participating in. And if you enjoy this quiz we've got lots of other Name the Composer quizzes on the channel. Okay, it works in a very simple way. If you've not done one of these before, I'm going to give you seven clues. And if you manage to name the composer on the first clue, you can award yourself a full 100 points. If you manage to get the composer accurately identified on the second clue, it's 90 points and so on all the way down to clue number seven and then you can enter into the comments underneath and tell us how you got on if you want to admit to your score and after the seventh clue I will reveal the answer to keep you in suspense to the end of the quiz. So name the composer. What's interesting about this one is that there's a slight question over really was this person a composer at all. It's an issue that musicologists like to argue about so that's another element of intrigue but I think you might discover a path to the answer as these clues evolve. Okay so just to add to the mystery clue number one. In 2008 an Australian professor suggested to general academic derision I might say, that I had been the composer of certain works that had previously been attributed to my husband. So who am I? In 2008 an Australian professor suggested that I had been the composer of certain works that had previously been attributed to my husband. So that's clue number one for 100 points. Okay, let's move on to clue number two. Upon our marriage, my husband was a widower with a young family. Clue number two, 90 points now. Upon our marriage, my husband was a widower with a young family. So who am I? Hmm. Clue number three. At that time, I was a professional singer. So at that time I was a professional singer. Clue number four. In 1723 we moved to Leipzig upon my husband's appointment as the Thomas Cantor in that city. In 1723 we moved to Leipzig upon my husband's appointment as Thomas Cantor in that city. And that's probably the very clearest clue to date. Okay, moving on to clue number five. My husband sought to revitalize church music in Leipzig and to that end he composed a large number of sacred cantatas. And I supported him by copying out the parts for the performers. Big job back then of course because we didn't have computer programmers and we didn't have photocopiers and all the rest of it. So all these parts written out by hand. So this is clue number five. My husband sought to revitalize church music in Leipzig. To that end composed a large number of sacred cantatas and I supported him by copying out the parts for the performers. Clue number six for 50 points. My stepsons W.F. Bark and C.P.E. Bark together with my sons J.C.F. Bark and J.C. Bark all became known as famous composers. Now then the surname revealed there is going to be a very big clue isn't it? Okay Clue number seven. My husband presented me with two beautiful musical notebooks. My husband presented me with two beautiful musical notebooks. So I wonder how you got on with that because actually 
probably those clues have revealed who my husband is, but have they revealed who I am? Well, see how you got on. The answer is Anna Magdalena Bach, the wife of J.S. Bach, Anna Magdalena Bach. So let us know how you got on with that quiz on a composer who may not have been a composer at all.